All right, I finally got her cleaned up. I've wiped off every square inch of the car. All inside the floor pan, the rear deck panel, up under the firewall, in the engine bay, front of the ready air support, all inside the trunk. Uh, I did not wipe under the bottom of the car. I'm not going to do that. I blew the crap out of it uh, about a week ago before I went to Florida. But uh, I wiped it all down with water and then went right back behind it and blowed it off. Especially in these areas where I had some little small packs of bare metal. Got maybe five or six of them around. Put one there and there. Right there. So, she's cleaned up. Um, I'm washing the car cover that comes with this because it's been laying around for a year and God knows what it's got on it. So, I'm going to get the car cover washed and dried. Um, I will put it on here because uh, this is Saturday night and I'm probably not going to load the car on the trailer until Sunday evening. And uh, then when I do that, and, uh, and I only load it on there Sunday evening if the weather's good. If the weather is not good, then it will stay inside here. And hopefully Tuesday uh, weather is good, or Monday weather is good, because that's the day I'm driving it to uh, Dick Knuckles' shop over in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And, uh, I'm going to tape it up over there Monday and then come back bright and early in the morning Tuesday, get it painted, and we'll go back Wednesday and uh, see about picking her up and see if I have to do anything to it, hopefully. Keep my fingers crossed I don't get any runs in it. I'll do my best not to. So, what I'm probably going to do with this one, since I'm not going to buff anything on it unless I absolutely have to, is I'm just going to lay it on there, you know, pretty slick. It might have a little bit of orange peel. I'll do my best not to have any in it. But uh, that's a game plan. That way I don't have to worry about any runs. So I'll just walk around a little bit. Show you, like I said earlier, got the wheels. Uh, I just hand polished them. I didn't use a machine because I didn't want to sling the polish all over the primer. And, uh, I cleaned the wheels up with just, I mean, the tires with just a rag and micro thinner. But, I've been sanding over my hand with 500 grit. I blocked it with 320, then went back over it with 500. And I cleaned it with wax and grease over a couple of times, and it just wasn't getting everything off. So I went ahead and took a just a wet rag with some warm water and uh, wiped it all down, and it got it a lot cleaner. Now I feel a lot better about it whenever I go and uh, wipe up wax and grease over right before I paint it. The top on this car is getting what they call a three-quarter vinyl roof. See these holes there? And they go all the way across the top. The vinyl roof will go from there forward and cover all the top of it. Um, there really wasn't much dents at all on the top of this. There was a couple of dings on the far side over in the front corner. And then as some of you know, I cut off this whole corner of the roof here all the way back to about right there. And uh, I pieced in, I put in a piece from the 75 donor car we had because water had got up underneath the drip rail here and started rusting all up underneath the top. And it was just all deteriorated away, all up underneath there. It was in bad shape. So that's been put on and uh, see I replaced both doors from the 75 donor car and uh, let me see I replaced uh, both lower quarter panels both lower trunk drop off panels I replaced the whole tail light panel because uh, it was rusted out around the tail lights and uh Right up in the corner across here, I guess dirt had buried up in the inside over the years and it rusted through there in places. 
Uh, I replaced the center part of the uh, trunk pan. Just that circle area in the very bottom, it's all replaced. It come up about two inches. That part there was only like, it was either $150 or $175, can't remember plus shipping. And a whole trunk pan was a two piece deal. And if I remember, it was right around 500 bucks for the trunk pan. So uh, since the rest of it wasn't really anything wrong with it other than dents from the car being wrecked, the car's been hit several places. It was all buckled up right there, and I had to fix that. And, uh, see what else to do. Like I said, um, I replaced this complete lower rocker panel, and uh, the lower A post on this was twisted inwards at the front. Uh, no, I take it back. It was twisted inwards towards right behind the A post. And uh, so I cut that part off, that 75 parts car we had, put that in there, and uh, then as I got to going, I found out this quarter panel here was pushed in some, so I pulled it out as much as I could, and um, I cut out a piece from the other quarter panel, and I put it in from about right there all the way down to about right in this neighborhood here, and it come out Oh, about eight or nine inches and uh, still I don't know if you can see it on the camera but this car compared to the other side the quarter panel dives in to the door so that tells me that car is pushed in still quite a bit so I know this car had a diamond on it there's a uh, the, uh, cow panel I don't know if you can see it but right in front of that vent there's a hump right there because whenever it hit the side, it bolted up. And uh, the original was on there. I thought, oh, there's a dent in it, it's bolt or something. So I cut it off and got the one off the 75 parts car, put that on there, laid it all down, and it laid down a lot smoother, but it's still got a hump in it. So that's told me that it's really all whacked up. And then uh, this front clip, I found out inside here on the other side you see an area where he cut through it with a cutoff wheel so and this whole front end had like a neon orange paint or hood orange paint or vitamin C orange something like that it was all over it but everything else was uh, this tiny gold metallic that was a factory color on it so all along I was wondering I said did somebody just want to paint the engine by a wild color or is it off another car when I found that spot where the weld was cut through and because it come off another car and they didn't weld it back here and I welded it down I went around and did a lot of extra welds in places around here just to make sure it didn't come loose and come apart but uh this end here is pushed up and that side over there might be down a little bit but that fender over there fits good it's got a good gap this one there's just no way possible I can get the gap any tighter because uh, it's wide at the bottom and tight at the top and then to get everything to line up up here get the fender to line up to the hood good and also have a good gap here well I just had to work with it the best I could so that's enough I got to piece two videos together it's going to be about 10 minutes so thanks for watching I want to try to get this painted in the next four or five days and uh and hand this puppy off to the owner. Thanks for watching.